Inca allows Fourth Marines and the Marines of 3-6 is to experiment with these new, uh, these new design uh, elements and with these new operating concepts to see what works and what doesn't work so they can shape the future of the Marine Corps as we transition. See the first two Shinkas, that's what was done, and specifically the last Shinka, that's what was done. There was a lot of experimentation done specifically for uh, EABO. <laughs> Through history, the best deterrence is to be well prepared. The security environment today is more challenging than it has ever been. Growing threats that are posed by potential adversaries and new technologies challenge our existing doctrine and require a constant reevaluation of our tactics, techniques, and procedures to ensure that we are prepared to meet these growing threats. Exercises such as this are crucial to the continued success of both our nation's interests. The training will be physically and mentally challenging. It will be conducted in very difficult terrain and perhaps under very adverse weather conditions. It will test both sides' ability to operate during friction, chaos, and uncertainty. And this is a good thing because the harder and more realistic we can make our training, the better prepared our forces will become. Playing force on force with the U.S. Marine Corps, who are probably known as the finest fighting force in the world. If I may, I would like to mention the Battle of Iwo Jima.